I'm Reggie, I'm from Los Angeles, and we came shopping. And you have a YouTube channel? Yeah, it's called Stay Tuned TV. Shout out. So what do you do there? Uh, we do public trolling, pranks, you know, like, uh, it's a lot of, like, social experiments, things like that. Am I getting punked right now? Nah, you good, you good. You sure? Good. Yeah. Nobody's right. gonna pop out. Nobody's gonna pop out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what do you have to look forward to from Donald Trump's presidency? Hey. <laughs> uh... I have no idea, actually. I, I can't really say that. <laughs> I don't want to say the wrong thing. <laughs> nothing. You have nothing to look forward to? Uh, I don't know. The comedy? Because he's a funny guy. <laughs> he's a funny guy. Yeah, that's it. All right. So did you, did you support him in the election? Nah, I'm, I'm, I just turned 18. So were you, but were you supporting somebody against him? No, nah, actually, I didn't. I mean I, I was, I mean, I don't know. I can't really say that either. <laughs> would, you, would you have been? Yeah. Nah. Nah, it, neither neither one was 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 a, uh, a candidate for me. Well, neither there were there were at least four. Oh, you mean the other? Oh, well, nah, I, I didn't I didn't really pay attention to the president's uh, debate. I think he was more into politics than me. <laughs> well, there were only two in the debate, but you know that there were two other candidates yeah, running that were on the ballot. Right? Again, well, you had Jill Stein with the Green Party, and Gary Johnson from the Libertarian Party was on all fifty state ballots. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't watch no politics at all. Yeah, he, he watched more of the politics than me. All right. So you just turned eighteen. Do you? What, what do you think of government in general? Uh, we have a government. I don't. I don't even know to be honest. I can't, I can't ask another these questions right now. Uh, let's see. What do I think of the government? Do you support the government? I mean, in some at some laws, we got some crazy laws like they just legalize weed. I think. I'm not for that because I don't smoke weed, so I don't know what else to say about that. I think that's it. What is government? A government is a system that creates laws and pass laws by, I can't even think about it right now. That's it, that's it, I can't even think. So isn't it strange that you live under this authority called government right. that controls so many aspects of your life and you can't even define it? Do you yeah, think I mean, we we actually went over this in my class, our government class. I can't even think about it right well, now. You have a class on yeah, government yeah, and they didn't see, teach you to define government. Yeah, actually, we defined it. We defined government. I read a whole little uh, essay on government. I, I can't even define it right now. I can't think. <laughs> I can't think. I really can't. So this government class didn't really do you any service, did it? We talked about the electoral party. We talked about talked about federalism, we talked about, we talked about, I can't, I can't really think about nothing right now. Was this at a government school? Yeah. So you went to a government school to take a government class. Did it teach you how to question government at all? Not really. Not really. Why do you think that is? I didn't really pay attention to the, in the class. I didn't really pay attention. <laughs> yeah. So could it be that government actually has an interest in you being uneducated or miseducated? Possibly, possibly, possibly. Well, you just went, you just graduated from a government school, sir? Uh, no, I'm, I'm a senior. You're a senior. No, high school, okay. yeah. So you got, you got half a year left? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you think the school has done anything to prepare you for the real world? Well, you know, I wanna, I, well, what I'm doing is like filmmaking and stuff, so they, for the class I'm taking at, at that school, they preparing me. It's more hands on now. We just became hands-on with like cameras and stuff like that, like software to be used. Okay, so in your government class, did they teach you about how much of your income from making films that the government is going to take? Nah. We just focus on many like the criteria that we that we got, like so whatever whatever the teacher is supposed to assign. That's what we that's what we mainly focus on. Do you know how much the average American pays in taxes every year? Nah, what is that? About half of their income. Now you see about a third, depending on you know how much you make come out of your paycheck. But when you add up all the other cost of government for the average American it adds up to about half of what they make that means half the year you're gonna be working for government they didn't teach you that in your government school government class why wouldn't they teach you that no, I mean I didn't really pay attention to that class right there I don't know did they make it boring yeah sort of sort of so they it, want you to really it was more stuff from the from the textbook so we didn't really really have any uh, discussions like that in class so could it be that like this this educational institution run by government that takes half of your income for the rest of your life, wants you to think that government is boring but necessary and you should just ignore it and never question maybe it? that's just the way he taught it, you know? I don't know, to be honest. Like, the class, maybe it was other, because we had other uh, teachers who taught the subject, but maybe that specific teacher, you know, the way he taught it.
Because I have other classes who, uh, who, who like to elaborate on the subject that we teach in class, like my English class. All right. Well, if I was going to teach you a government class, I would teach you that government is a violent monopoly that steals from you and calls it taxation, kills people, murders people and calls it war, runs gangs and calls them police, and has people in charge who are criminals and calls them politicians. Did they teach you anything about that in your government class? Nah, nah. We, we went over some, some you know, stuff that was happening in the real world, but mainly stuff from the textbook. And the textbooks are all dated, by the way. So why wouldn't they tell you what I just told you? They didn't want us to know. Why don't they want you to know? Uh, to keep us controlled. Because if you knew, you would do what? We, 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 we stand up and we, we, we you know, fight back. And what would that look like? A war. <laughs> I don't know. Well, it doesn't have to be, right? Yeah, no, not a war, but... Could it be like a nonviolent civil disobedience yeah, war? Like a protest, a rebellion. People stop paying taxes? Exactly, exactly. People stop working for government? Exactly. People stop voting for criminals, politicians, things like that? What they want, everything. And eventually we wouldn't have to deal with this government thing at all. Right. But they have, like, you know, the power, so that can happen. So it works completely by deception and manipulation, and as a result, you get screwed. Exactly. That's exactly how it works. Did you just learn more, like, two yeah, minutes yeah. than your entire government class? <laughs> Low key, yeah. This is Adam Kokesh. Thanks for watching. Please share this video and support this production by going to patreon.com slash adamkokesh.